Dear editor. Dear Mr. Hill. Dear landlord S. Dear Mr. Wright. Dear President Roosevelt. Notice to mother and to nobody else. Anybody here a mic pipe like them? In 1983, a devoted 14-year-old fan named Matt Hyde wrote individual letters to all of the Python members asking if they had a fan club that he could join. A few weeks later, he received this letter from his hero, John Cleese. Dear Matthew, I'm afraid I'm much too important to write notes to people like you. <laughs> Please remember that I am very, 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 very important. <laughs> However, there is no John Cleese fan club, despite my importance, because they were all murdered in 1983 by Michael Palin's fan club. I enclose a photograph to remind you of my importance. Yours sincerely, John Cleese. Hello, Mr. Lyons. Thank you very much. My life couldn't fill a penny postcard. I was born in Pittsburgh in 1928, like everyone else in a steel mill. Now I'm in New York City, moving from one roach-infested apartment to another. Andy Warhol. <laughs> November 18, 1924. Dear Scott, I think your novel is a wonder. It has vitality to an extraordinary degree, and glamour, and a great deal of underlying thought of unusual quality. And as for sheer writing, it's astonishing. June 7, 1938. Dear Miss Ford, women do not do any of the creative work in connection with preparing the cartoons for the screen, as that work is performed entirely by young men. Isn't that stationary amazing? <laughs> and isn't that letter disturbing? <clears throat> and isn't it all the more dismaying that it was written by a woman? <laughs> I can't help but think that maybe that's her picture in the bottom right. <laughs> Your friend, E. Dickinson. Sincerely, Stephen King. With love for World Dog. Your ever gracious tenant, Bruce Springsteen. Your pal forever, Thomas J. Hanks. Your fellow American, Sidney Boyle. Respectfully, Elvis Presley. 